Now we're going to take a deeper look at the significance of the historic June democracy movement that laid the foundation for democracy in uh, South Korea. And for that, here's our Ian Shin. June represents Korea's hope for democracy, as it was in this month three decades ago that some five million brave men and women demanded a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. This movement was not the first protest against dictatorship, but on June 10, 1987, when the military regime of the time announced, on its own, who would be the country's next president, citizens had had enough. They took to the streets to protest the government of then-leader Chun Doo-an and to demand direct presidential elections. Despite struggles with the police that left many wounded, the June democracy movement spread among workers, farmers and students in more than 30 cities. And on the 19th day of resistance, the regime gave in, announcing plans to restore direct elections. As Korea marks 30 years since the movement, the sacrifices that helped establish a constitutional democracy are honored in ways that go beyond memorial ceremonies. Through academic and cultural projects, we make sure the spirit of the movement is carried on by the generation responsible for the nation's future. Acknowledging past mistakes is what will prevent them from happening again. These efforts include open discussions by scholars analyzing what the current government can take away from the demonstrations and the collection and preservation of artifacts and documents. The history of the June democracy movement, captured in photos and journals, can be seen here at the Seoul Metro Art Center. But the spirit of the demonstration 30 years ago is still very much alive today, as street protests became the new normal in the defense of a democratic Korea. The June struggle transcended the boundaries of region and social class, and in that sense, became the blueprint for last year's nationwide candlelight vigils, demanding the removal of former president for corruption. It's said that every struggle and victory over corruption among the powerful takes Korea one step closer to true democracy. Ideal democracy is the concurrence of the citizens. Although Korea made notable achievements, it's not yet reached the most ideal state. But looking at the way the new administration has risen and the continued demands for a righteous system, I'd say we're headed in the right direction. Ian Shin, Arirang News.